you're in the media or a fan who likes to tweet strong opinions during a game, college football might not be the sport for you. Certainly wasn't this weekend. Seems to be a new trend on social media where people call for a coach to be fired at halftime, Jim Mora. But we're reminded over the weekend that no lead is safe. Even last night, Tennessee against Georgia Tech. Tennessee trailed Georgia Tech by two touchdowns fourth quarter. Ah, uh, Butch Jones. Yeah, the immediate demise of Butch Jones. And then the Vols came back and won, so I guess Butch Jones' job is safe for the weekend. Uh, nothing compared to what happened Saturday night in Los Angeles. And yes, I did turn off UCLA, Texas A&M after halftime. I'm texting the Danette saying, I have not seen a defense hit this hard in a long time. A&M was bringing lumber. They were bringing redwoods there. Kevin Sumlin was coaching. He looked like he was Bear Bryant. And then all of a sudden, Josh Rosen came to the rescue. But in the meantime, Kevin Sumlin, who's supposed to be on the hot seat, oh, look at him. He's got a great recruiting class. He saved his job. This kid, Josh Rosen, is a second-round draft pick. He's overrated. Then UCLA scores 35 unanswered points. Rosen now a Heisman frontrunner. Kevin Sumlin on the hot seat. Once again, college football left a lot of people on social media looking very, very, very silly. It was fun. It was great over the weekend. When you go, okay, Howard beat UNLV. They're a 45-and-a-half point underdog. Wait, Liberty's got a football team? Wait, Liberty beat Baylor? No. That can't be true. And then watching UCLA against Texas A&M, Maryland against Texas. I will caution you with this. Just slow down. Slow down calling for somebody's job because even if you're on a board of regents, where you look stupid when you do something like that, calling for a coach to be fired, as they did, you know, somebody with Texas A&M, slow down. Remember Alabama against USC last year? USC lost by 46. Oh, Clayton Hel- Clay Helton, he cannot be a big-time coach. You know, he's more of an assistant coach. And then the Trojans go 10-3. and three, They won the Rose Bowl. Oklahoma lost to Houston. And then they seemed like they did okay after that. Cougars went 9-4. and four. Oklahoma recovered from that slow start. They went undefeated in the Big 12 and uh, beat Auburn in the Sugar Bowl. Finished 11-2. and two. Texas, Notre Dame. Remember that thriller? Texas is back. They beat Notre Dame. 50-47. to 47. The Longhorns are back. And then their coach got fired. Yeah. It's a long season. Even with Josh Rosen, who in the first half didn't have much time, a ms defense was unbelievable. His wide receivers weren't getting open. Now, he didn't look great. He's going to get credit for that, but there were a couple of passes that he had in the second half where they weren't great passes. But the final drive, which is what I want to see, I've often said, let me see when somebody is down and then they get back up. Because when everybody's flying around, throwing the football, having fun, everybody looks like a Heisman winner. But when things go bad, what do you do? And Josh Rosen, when it got bad, it got ugly, he came back. For the life of me, watching Texas A&M, I have no idea how that happened. Because they played great defense. They ran the ball. They run almost 300 yards in the first half. UCLA was demoralized. They were taking it to them. And you even heard when... You know, the, the, Joel Klatt was talking about how, you know, you take away somebody's heart. Like, you can see them demoralized. That's what AM was doing. They were just more physical. Uh, even in the Michigan-Florida game, with all the mistakes that Michigan had, Michigan was a dominating team. They were a far better team than Florida. That felt like an SEC team in Michigan playing against a Big Ten team in Florida instead of the other way around. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience. <laughs> 